Demosen here with another great video. Remember we were talking about the cartridges that found that the 20 thing? Do you think I left them alone? Do you think I really really would leave them there? Did not. So, I kind of was curious about this. This crazy cartridge with 60 kil K of RAM. Um, let's just open it up. This is kind of cool stuff. If we're if we're looking at what this is, um, over here we got the this the, the ROM here. Or is it ROM actually? I'm gonna try and zoom in. Did not work that well, I. Right? Alright, just zoom out and do it the manual way, like that. Um, so what is that? That is like a 2040 word 8-bit CMOS static ROM. Ooh. Um, what's the fancy thing about that, you might ask? Well, the, the fancy thing is that it's... Um, well, it's actually where you can store your programs and stuff inside. Um, the functional block diagram tells me that it has like a row select, memory array of 128 rows, 16 columns, columns and 8, eight block. Yeah, that, that kind of makes pretty much sense. Um, if we're looking here, and this little thing is a TMM 2016P and accordingly to a data sheet that I got a hold of this is kind of like um, what did it say? I have to look it up again um, yeah it said it's a 16K and most static ROM um, but I, I find it hard to believe actually because it, it makes no sense but uh, I'm going to explore this because, boom, if we're looking down here, we have a dip switch, which uh, it's kind of, um, uh, it, it's it's kind of, um, yeah, you you can you can switch between uh, different options. Actually, if we're looking at it here, I'm gonna try and go gentle here. Um, <coughs> this one is off off and that one is on and the third one if we're if we're going following the wire here it's actually going to the voltage the VVC on one of them on the chips here kind of the, the, the voltage to it so if it's off it won't give it any power to drive the circuit and if we're looking here 678 is the exact same, but it's for these, these memory, memories or uh, ROMs. <laughs> so, so, so I'm, I'm wondering if this has some kind of, if you can get funky with those. But um, I am pretty sure that you cannot get too funky with them. Uh, if we're rotating here with the, this little chip. Uh, what, that is, what this chip particularly is, is a standard component. This one is from Mitsubishi, by the way, and it's a dual two-line to four-line decoder demultiplexer. Hoo -hoo. What is that? Uh, well, it's no funky thing, actually, because, hey, look at this. Like I said, we have one bank. I'm, I'm calling this bank. I, I don't really care what people say, but this bank and this bank, they're two different banks. This, I assume, is for the um, the high memory, and this is for the low. Uh, not low, but address. I'm not that sure how it's addressed in the Wing 20. But the thing is, and the thing is that the, this this circuit here, it kind of makes sure that you can have two line and decode them to four line decoder. And what it means. It means that you can input um, like one line 
um, how to say, it's a semiconductor in integrated circuit containing two, two bits, two line, two four line decoder, the multiplexers with with separately uh, enabled inputs. So, enable inputs provide two circuit completely separated. Right? This is getting complex, I know, but also it, it's kind of cool, funny to think, see, because uh, if we're if, we, if we're gonna do it the right way, we have to turn it around actually, because this is the input. The first one here is the input. It's the one e input that comes from this side down here. And if we have the other input done, where is that? You might ask. Um, that one is on 14 and 13. So, uh, sorry, my bad. <laughs> the first one here is enabled. It's enabled it to kind of the multiplex. I, I, yeah. Uh, but if, if we are moving on to, to the next cartridge, perhaps, because this is getting very complex and complicated, I, I'm not sure if, if, if anyone has been doing it like me, but I, I'm, I like to kind of disassemble everything. So if you are moving on, we are going to the next cartridge. The go. There we go. This is the 8K. Um, I actually popped a chair of this one, <laughs> so to speak, because little plastic thing just snapped off. But it's okay. I don't care. But this is kind of interesting. Um, if we're looking at the motherboard, should I say, the circuit board, the PCB board, whatever, uh, you, we can see that it was basically, check it out, it was basically the same as for the 16K. It, it's actually the same, everything is same, the revision of the motherboard and everything here, it is, it's the same, with a few changes. The changes are, this one has just the four dip switches. But the similarities are that if we're checking on, off, off, off. On, off, off, off. Uh -huh. That is pretty interesting, right? But wh why I doubt, like I said, that these are 16 um, Ks are, if we're looking at this, check it out. That little circuit, this one is n not, not um, this one is not similar to this big bad wolf down there. Uh, uh it's not because this one is a dual one of four decoder, and it doesn't even have a demultiplexer. So it's kind of it's it's about the same as the other guy but this is uh, more like this uh, device has two independent decoder decoders and uh, each accepting two inputs and providing four manually exclusive active low outputs each decoder has an active low enable input which can be used as a data input for uh, for a four output demultiplexer uh huh. Each half of um, the 139 can be used as a function generator, providing um, uh, all four mini terms of the um, two variables. S so, yeah, uh, it's it's still kind of weird because, well, I just said it. It doesn't have a demultiplexer, but uh, apparently it has a demultiplexer and a decoder so this one um, I'm kind of I'm com compare I am comparing those two that one and that one with each other and I can see clearly I am looking at the the kind of um, the pin configuration here the screen beside me here <laughs> you, you don't really think that I'm kind of 
well, I, I know stuff like that, but I'm not like the crazy guy who knows like 150 circuits in my head, no, unfortunately not. But if I'm comparing it, I can see that this one has like a, a decoder, decoder. So I'm wondering what, what this little switch down here actually is doing. But if we are looking, we can see that this one is kind of halved. So I, I don't think that you can use it, but still you can. Um, hard to explain, but <laughs> this is interesting, actually. Um, and now when I have everything documented like this, I, I can actually start to play around with the switches. This is, keep in mind guys, that this is the first time I'm opening those up and really going into things. So, this is cool. Um, the 16K over here, th this one I'm definitely going to explore more uh, and see if, if it's possible to, like I said, have like 16K in those, or those actually. That would be interesting. Hmm, so um, we have one cartridge left that um, we're gonna take a look at, of course. So, 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 this is the programmer's aid cartridge. And if we're opening it up, wow, we'll take a look at that. <laughs> um, this one is, um, uh, what is this? It's n it, this is basically an EEPROM actually, a ROM, which has like the, um, the whole code, so to say, the whole uh, the whole PAC programmers aid a programmers aid cartridge. So this is the ROM for the whole thing. Um, and, it, and if we're looking here, you can see that it it kind of takes the this is the um, VCC. I think. No, I'm damned wrong. This is not the VCC. This is the VCC. Yeah, so this is the VCC going there. Uh, and this is the ground. Yeah, it says the ground. So yeah, that, that's kind of cool. No, god damn it. I was right. This is the VCC. It says, if you we were reading there. Yeah, I knew I was right. <laughs> and now, uh, but this is kind of, um, this is a little mini board, so to speak. So this is what it looks like inside, and I can see it's a two-layer board. Well, yeah, I could also show you better if we had some kind of backlight, but it wouldn't be. Well, I have a light board, but who cares? I mean, come on, guys! It's like 2:30 a.m. in the morning, and I got work to do tomorrow, so I'm not feeling like going down the basement and pick up the light board. That would have been kind of cool, because was some light therapy, but still, this is how things are looking, and uh, I hope this, this has been cool, this little bonus, you know, for you guys, so I guess I'll just shut these cartridges together, and I'll see you in another one. Uh, you think we were done? No, we were not. Um, I just uh, made some kind of last minute updates on, on what the, the switches are all about because I couldn't really dig that jazz when we were not done with it so <coughs> the stuff around here is that with, with those you can kind of change the block where the 16k of ROM will mount in the week 20's memory map because some games uh, require to have the memory mapped in a different way. So you could, I don't know how it works with that memory memory in, in the week 20, but <laughs> that's how it is. And also, uh, the, the thing that I've, I kind of, of course, it, it rang a little bell here, uh, is that um, the, the 8K ROM cartridge and uh, the 16K ROM, uh, car RAM cartridge uses the same circuit board. The main difference between uh, these two cartridges resides in the number of static RAM, RAM memory. 
and that is installed. So, so, so this is this is like I said. If you pop those up, then yeah, you kind of turn that memory mapping off. You will get the eight amount of RAM. So um, there are really no differences between them, so to speak. It's just me getting excited as always. And especially with this guy here, it's, it's kind of the same, but in the 6, 16K version, you need like, um, y you need like this, so, so this, the, uh, so it can take like two lines instead of one line, because you have like two different memory maps, or, or, or yeah, blocks actually. So, uh, so it makes perfectly sense, I just want to have that set and done b before we like, closing the case um, so this is kind of cool and uh, <coughs> I have also um, I have also another surprise whoa something shaking in here, yeah it's an earthquake uh, but uh, I also have another surprise for you guys coming up later on I I'm not gonna kind of you know I'm not gonna milk the cow and serve you the milk yet I'm just gonna kind of, you know, milk the cow, so to speak, and uh, no, but, but just tell you that there's something coming up. So th that's how it is, and we are, or of course, like I said, we are going to explore this, this, uh, this thing, uh, <laughs> yeah, the 16k ROM cartridge later on, of course. So um, yeah, th th that's a bit. Th that's about it. This is it. 